Good morning, you guys. It is Vlogmas Day. It is Christmas. Y'all, uh, I'm so irritated. I did not feel good for like two days. I've been sleeping for like a day and a half, a, almost two days because like I wasn't feeling good. Anytime I don't feel good, that's why you don't see me on social media. But I have to get up for Christmas because I look at the police. I have to go give Christmas gifts and I'm supposed to make some food. Yeah, I swear I do not feel good. I look a mess right now. I got this bonnet on my head. But I know y'all was like, where's she at? What's she doing? I'm just, I've been resting in the bed and I didn't want to feel me just sleeping for a day and a half. But yeah, you guys, I do not feel good. And my, my nose is congested. But I'm going to attempt to get up and take a shower and get ready because Christmas is happening and my family is expecting to see me. Y'all look at my double chin. I, get, I need to get rid of this. I really do. But yeah, you guys, Merry Christmas. And I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. I'm going to put crusty eyes and all of that. Dude is literally standing by the goddamn drive through window. He doesn't even have a freaking car. And he's just standing there. Then it's this crazy dude. He looks like he's on drugs. He has his hands in his pocket. I have my card. And she had to fold my card up because the dude is looking like he about to rob me. And I'm like, nah, it's not about to go down like that. And then on top of the insult to injury, he's like trying to look in my window. I'm like, oh my God, I should have recorded him. But it's like, I don't like um recording homeless people because like i've been homeless before but at the end of the day like dude get the heck up out my face and get up out my car but anyway guys i'm sorry that i wasn't able to film vlogmas but literally like i had got like a sore throat and um i had like congested so like i couldn't breathe nor could i speak and i was so upset because i had so much footage that i wanted to do for my weekend that i have off and it's like the weather has been changing drastically and it seems like every time when it's time for me to like have a good time on the weekend or when i have a weekend off to enjoy myself it always seems like when that time happens some bs happens so i was like really really irritated about that but yeah you guys i am on my way home um i'm glad that like I, i'm glad that i got my voice back because like i was so irritated and it's like dang every single time when i want to like do something or film something or get something done here comes the enemy with some bs so like i was like sick for a couple of days my nose was running it was just like a rock a lot of stuff going on and i could have recorded but like i didn't want to like blow my nose in the camera it just would have been really really crazy tomorrow i'm supposed to get my hair done but today it's raining so bad and then tomorrow i'm off from everything so i'm like oh my god like every time i want to do something fun or every time i want to like enjoy myself day off like rain it's just all type of stuff the weather is just not it does not feel like the holiday season it feels like um I don't know it doesn't feel like it's christmas like it just doesn't it didn't even snow like it's just been raining 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 then it gets warm then it rains again so yeah you guys i'm gonna pick the camera up tomorrow i promise you guys will get this vlog this will be vlogmas day 27 even though i didn't get to do no christmas but honestly i didn't even get no christmas gifts for real like that and it's christmas is really not about getting gifts it's really about giving but i know next year i'm gonna be like pretty like kind of to myself because there's like some goals that i want to get done and it's just like i feel like i'm always a person that's giving 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 and then when it turns around for me to get you know i'm the last to think about so yeah i am going to go ahead and put the camera down and i will see you guys tomorrow i promise like this is gonna be like hopefully a 30 minute vlog hopefully i can get my hair done Hopefully, I can get an earlier appointment than 4 o'clock. Like, and then it's New Year's. And then I got my lashes done. And then, look, my eyes, it, they, they look a mess. So, I'm just, like, frustrated at this point. Do you hear me? I'm, just, I'm upset. I'm just, like, I hope these lashes come out so I can put some lashes on. Because I literally got them done, like, Saturday. And, like, they came out already. And I paid $35 for no reason. So, things have not been going my way. So, I'm just, like, it is what it is at this point. All right, let me put the camera down. I think I see the police. There's too much going on. Where's my... This lady. This dude. I know I hear his fucking crazy ass. 
y'all. I swear I didn't pick the camera up in a couple of days. I'm sorry about that, but this is like a weird, weird time. Let me just get this. Thank you, thank you. Like, shoot. Can't even. Like, why the fuck are you right there, first of all? That's the first thing. Like, this dude. Okay, you guys, welcome back to another freaking video. Like, today is really, really weird. I have some weird ass guys outside of the car in in the drive-thru. They're standing outside looking weird as hell. I'm just like, it's too much going on. Hold on. Okay, after being underneath the dryer for about 30 minutes, this is the final result. She straight did, and she also clipped my ends. I'm super happy with my results because I'm just happy with the results and the fact that my ends are clipped and it still looks really healthy and it's just really bouncy. All right, so now I am at the grocery store. I'm about to go inside the grocery store actually and get a little bit of groceries. I wanna make this mac and cheese or whatever. And let me tell y'all what happened. So earlier I was trying to talk to someone on the phone at my job. And this lady just, I don't know, people be acting funny over the phone. But then when I get in front of them, they be having a different tune. So I was trying to ask her about like my hours or whatever. And was it approved? And she was like, it was approved. And then she was like, oh, oh we can't pay you twice. You can't just use your vacation hours and all of this other stuff. I'm just like, hold up. First of all, I didn't ask you to do all of that. So it was just kind of annoying. And then I was getting my hair done. I got my ends clipped or whatever. I like got them clipped a little bit, but um, just a little trim. But I'm just like, I didn't ask for all that. You know when you be just asking for the bare minimum and then, no, not even, yeah. When you ask for something and people give you the bare minimum and then when you ask them, they act like they got an attitude. It's just like, um, I didn't ask you for all of that. But anyway, you guys, I'm about to go inside of Trader Joe's because I need to get some heavy cream and I need to get, um, I need to get some heavy cream. I need to get some chicken i need to get some bread i just need to get a couple of items i need my shit to come up to like 20 dollars or whatever and lately like i just been like people been trying to catch an attitude with me and i've been trying to like what's the word be the bigger person so that's what i'm doing i so wish that everything that's happening to me now happened saturday but it is what it is um i'm not gonna stop vlogging until the end of the month hopefully but y'all know how it go for me because one minute I'm on this camera and then the next minute I have no footage. And if I don't have footage, it's hard for me to like film. But yeah, people be trying to test me for no reason. And then I tried to call my manager and ask him to pick a shift up and he tried to act like an ass. And it was like, oh, I'll prove it for you. Didn't even approve it, denied it, gave it to somebody else because it's not available anymore. And then I had to call a different manager to do something for me. I'm just like, why do I ask the people I don't like to do stuff? And then when you see they fake self, they're gonna be like, hey, how you doing? Get out of my face. Like, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be giving, ah, I don't even wanna talk to you. Like, for real. I, I hate, I really hate fakeness. Like, fakeness, like, is the worst. I hate when someone's trying to be fake. Like, it just gets on my nerves. But, yeah, y'all, that's what I've been dealing with while I was at the hair salon. I got my nails done not too long ago. They look like crap. So, it is what it is. And, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I finish the rest of the year with a bang. I'm going to go home and clean up my apartment. I'll um, film me cleaning up my apartment because I rarely do. Well, y'all always see me cleaning up, but I need to wash my sheets, my blankets, mop the floor, make dinner. So, yeah, but I also want to see a movie, too. So, yeah, you guys. So, I'm going to pick the camera back up when I get in the grocery store. But... I was just kind of irritated about that. Like, I felt like it was too much shade. And I, and this is my day off. So, I didn't get to film while I was in the store because I was, like, in a rush. But um, I got some onions. I did get me some sour cream from Trader Joe's. I got me these. I don't know how to pronounce these. These are Thai shrimps. They're, like, dumplings. So, hopefully, they're good. Never had them before. Got two packs of chicken. 
and I got some white bread, of course. I'm always getting. Y'all, don't mind my 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 um apartment, y'all. I gotta clean up. Like it, it's just it's it's that time. Some sharp cheddar. Got me some app pineapple. I'm about to say that. Got me some apple. Got me some pineapple juice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm using my um stuff. Orange juice. Got me some meat lasagna. Got me some tofu. Also got me some Greek cardamom olives. These are my favorites because I'm running low on them. And I got me some milk that I don't barely eat. So let me tell y'all what happened. So as I get, oh, I don't know, lately I've been scratching crap out my scalp. Um, but, um, after I left the grocery store, I decided to go to my job and I needed to talk about some stuff and I just wanted to know about different positions that they had at my job and everything. And then from there, I just stopped by the movie theaters cause I wanted to know when, um, what movie is I'm um, playing, um, Aquaman and I wanted to see that. Hopefully I can see it, but yeah. So that's what I did, and that was pretty much it. And I got my hair washed, even though my scalp has been itching so bad. Y'all, this, you know what's been making my scalp itch? And this really makes your hair grow? This tea right here. This is the truth. If you want to grow your hair back, get you some fenugreek tea. I'm telling you, this is, this is dope. I'm trying to tell you. This is really, really dope. But, um, yeah, that's what I've been... Um, drinking and my scalp's been itching. I don't know what's up with that. And I literally just got it washed. So I know that I have a clean scalp and my scalp itching. <laughs> like, I keep scratching it. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, I'm about to clean up this, this room. Like, my apartment is just... It's not, it's not giving what's supposed to give right now. It's really filthy and really dirty. And I was supposed to wash this blanket right here and I haven't even washed it yet. I went and washed the other one and I was supposed to wash that one. So I'm washing clothes, but I'm really not doing too much. Let me show y'all my, my, um, huge laundry stuff that I, I organized. So I got to organize this each year. I do this. I feel like I do this every three months, but I'm about to organize all this stuff on the floor. This closet, I just pulled some of the stuff that was in the back. It seems like every time I get to point A, then it's just back messy again. So I'm about to clean this and yeah, that's what we about to do. I'm not about to have y'all clean with me because I like I did a video like that already, but um, I'm definitely about to make something to eat in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and this is the jerk chicken I had from, what is it, Christmas? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for about maybe 30, 40 minutes. You know, make me some mac and cheese, but my jerk chicken was so good. Like, it was so tasty. And I'm like cleaning my room and I'm like, girl, don't you got some food that you're supposed to be making? <laughs> like, baked at that. That joint ain't even dipped in the sauce. 
It's like, what y'all think? This is actually pretty good. Like I, I seasoned it so good, but I grilled it, but like it, it made my house too smoky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bake it. I'm gonna show y'all how it look after. Okay. Okay, you guys, so this is the plate of food, y'all. This mac and cheese was everything to me. It was so good, like, oh my goodness. You guys, so I finished my closet or whatever. I got everything cleaned and then bed. So I'm super happy about the bed. Two reasons why I'm happy about the bed. For one, I got my sheet and I got my sheets clean. And then for two, I washed this blanket and this blanket is a little heavier because my other blanket was really, really, really cold and I it, it just wasn't given. And this is my winter blanket. So I decided to bring my winter blanket out, even though it doesn't match the pillows. I don't care. I want to be warm. Y'all, I've been in here forever. I got home at five and I'm just now finishing and I'm cooking or whatever. So yeah. So I'm warming up my food. I'm going to show you my food in a little bit. But I wanted to say this. So today I decided to go to my HR office, like I told y'all earlier. But I wasn't able to explain because I was cleaning up and I was doing a lot of stuff. But I always feel like sometimes, you know, you'll be at a job and you have all these qualifications. You know, I have an associate's degree with debt on it, not doing anything. You get to a finally a decent company that, you know, has honors. They're looked at. People love them. And, you know... You have this degree, you have all these people skills, and it's just like you want to move up in the company. And, you know, sometimes people will try to speak to you like you need to stay like in a particular department. Because me, where I work at, I work in the dining department and I was speaking to my HR manager. Well, it's not my HR manager, but she's a HR manager and we're really, really cool. She's my age. And I was telling her, you know, I want to move to a different department. I don't want to stay in this department anymore. It's just not enough money or whatever. Trying to like express my concerns before I try to find a different job because the way I am, like I always like to find other companies, especially companies that have a lot of money because it's endless when I'm young. Like there's no reason for me to stay at one company forever, ever and ever and stay in one position and make this amount of money. It's just not me. So I wanted to, you know, move around as I should. And it was like, I was telling her my, I was telling her my ideas. And it's like, every time I would tell her something, she would put me back into a point where it'd be like, well, you should do this. And it's just like, no, I want to move. I want to do this. I feel like I don't want to do um, this certain position. So, you know, I don't know. It kind of like dampened on me or whatever, even though she gave me a lot of information, but it's just like, if I want to pursue something, I don't want another individual to say, oh, well, you should do this instead. Does that make sense? I don't know. I was just like, I don't know. Like, I, I just, there's a lot of questions that I have in my head sometimes, and I can't always um, say them out loud, but it's just like, at the end of the day, I feel like sometimes people, they want to see you here and they don't ever want to see you elevate sometimes, even though she wasn't doing that. It was just like, she was just telling me like, Oh, you should, you know, you should cook and you should do this and you should do that. And like, I'm, I know I'm a great cook. I love to cook. Cooking is like one of my passions, but it's like, it's getting to a point where I want to do something else with my life and other stand up for 12 to 14 hours cooking for someone. So it's just like, I want to get out of food and I want to be able to be in an area where I can go to work looking cute and I can put on a cute outfit and I don't have to worry about wearing a hairnet. And and then finally at the end, she was like, well, girl, get out of dining if you don't want to. Cause like the job that I work, it's in the dining department. It's just like, I get tired of, um, I just get tired of that after a while. Dealing with people's food, I noticed that people are very, very disrespectful. People, like, have no patience when it comes to food. And it's just, like, it's starting to get old. And it's just, like, I got to move on. Anyway, um, I just hope for, like, a new year. I just hope that new things happen for me. And I just have a different outcome. I want a different outcome. I'm tired of having the same outcome over and over again. It's just starting to get annoying. 
that was just one of the things I was thinking on my head. And I was like, let me add this inside the vlog. But guys, I really didn't really get to do everything I wanted to do. I was supposed to go to the movies. I still can, but it's just like, I think the movie might be closing now. Because um, I think they said they close at 1045 and I'm just about to eat. So I'm just like, it is what it is. I'm going to go to the movies tomorrow though, because I want to see like what they have and I, that's just like my favorite movie i just wish it was available in prime video but um someone at my other job was telling me that the movie would be available when did he tell me he said that the movie on prime video for aquaman will be available on next week or a week after before they do it, but it's just like, I, I don't want to wait a week, so I want to go see my movie tomorrow. But yeah, I always feel like sometimes companies that you work for always want to make you feel like you need to stay in this particular box. I don't know, maybe it's just me, or maybe I'm just being weird, but it was on my mind. Another thing, guys, so I have this LLC that I bought through Taylor Brands, and Taylor Brands is supposed to be like a very, very nice company or whatever. Like it's supposed to be a company where they help you and everything. And this is what I noticed. Like if you don't do their annual, they just keep trying to charge my card like 285, 285. I've called them and told them, look, I'm going to get the money in January and they keep doing it. So like if you are out there and you're planning to use Taylor Brands, just know that like the automatic stuff is going to they're going to keep trying to charge your card until they get successful no matter what no matter if you tell them hey you know um i want to wait for this date they don't care they'll they'll just keep running the card over and over again that's my food in um the microwave but that's just what i wanted to express but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please like comment and subscribe don't forget to don't forget to hit the notification button so you can get a video every time I upload. I'm sorry, y'all. Vlogmas got interrupted because I was sick and I really, really was not feeling good. But I just need to keep filming and that's what we got to do. Oh, FYI, earlier I dropped my phone and the lens is all messed up. And this is like my replacement phone. I'm so irritated with myself because I've never messed up my camera before to the point where it's messed up. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.